Hello, everybody. So, you're from Darkside. Welcome to you. Today, we are playing another Minecraft map called Beyond the Border. This map was uh, released pretty, pretty newly, and it was such a good like map. I, I looked at it and, it and it looked super good. I even played ten minutes of it, uh, but the, I lost the footage because, of course, well, obviously, power died yet again. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you, uh, I, I did like ten minutes of footage, and that's all. But this is such an amazing map. It's so much better than I expected. And it looks so good. In this map, you have to be an android, and you have to control it using commands. And you use these commands to complete puzzles to move through the world, and eventually you get more androids to actually play around with. So you get up to three. I'm pretty sure I got all the way up to two, and uh, then I stopped. I'm, there is 24 levels in this, I think. I'm gonna do 12 now, and 12 in the next episode. So subscribe and leave a like if you want to see more of this. But this is such an amazing map and it has voice acting and it has music and all that. It's so good. I, it's so lovely. You'll see for yourself. Boss, I need to tell you something. What is it? The infinity room got hacked. We lost. Listen, I don't really care. We get hacked almost every week. But don't worry. We store fake data inside all of our computer. Like this, for instances. Nobody knows that we own a robot army. If y'all hear any weird back now noise, I'm very sorry about that. There's a lot of works outside. I'll try and deafen those. But where can we <laughs> store all of our real data? Where nobody can access it. Beyond the world border. That's where the name came from. Wait, what? But how? We designed a type of robot capable of crossing the world border. Why don't you show him, Agent W? Oh, wait, you are new. So that's us, or Agent W. Let's start with something simple then. This is your robot. You can control it with code. Select instruction in the left box and drag them into the right box. There we go. Uh, it's a super. This is our first robot. As you can see here, you can get up to three. I only have two for now. Uh, I've only done like two. Such a fun map, such an interesting concept. Alright, this is where we have to get to. And of course, it's as easy as we only have one instruction for now, but we'll get more instructions later. So we have walk, walk. Each walk is a single block. So now press start, you can make this go as fast as times 8 apparently, which is sick. But I'll leave it as times 1 for now. There's the first block, Easy. and the second block. Right. Let's spice thing up. So now we have to actually get to turn the robot. So you have to turn to the left, because because he is standing like that, and he has to turn that way, which is the left. And then he, have to, he has to walk twice, right? So one block, and the second block, and he press this, and it goes. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you something. Since the robot is beyond the world border, we cannot send human to get it back. So please, don't mess up too much. Alright, I'll try my best. So, we have this guy, he has to move one, two, three, and then turn. So we have three walks. Two, and three, let me just check, one, two, three, yes, and then he has to turn to the right. And then walk twice. One. Two. I did all this like over two hours ago when power died. Um, walk twice, then he has to turn right once more. Walk once, and then turn to the left and walk once more. Boop. And then he goes. There we go. One more. And he turns one last time. Cool. Some rooms have multiple puzzles inside. Try to reach the diamond block. Yeah, so right here, you're gonna get to see some, some extra puzzle elements where you can do more than one puzzle in a single room. And he has to move more than once. So we need to reach this diamond block right here. So that will take us one, two, three, four. So four walking. One, two, three. And here is four. Then he's right here, so we have to turn to the right. Then he can walk twice, and that is it for now. There we go. Let's go. 
It turns to the right. Perfect. Robot can carry stuff. So now we got the pick up and drop command. So right now he's standing up here. He needs to pick it up first. Don't forget, pick up first. And then he has to turn. So he has to turn, if he's standing like that, he has to turn left. There it is. And then he has to do a whole bunch of walking. One, two, three, four. There we go. There we go, he picks it up. And he walks, and he's just gonna keep on walking. Oh, oh, you have to stop the execution to modify code. You see, that's the first mistake we've done. Let's stop. He needs to turn to the right, and then he has to drop. Now we can do this again. So he picks it up, then he walks all the way over here, and then he turns, and then he drops it. There we go, now we have a second box. So he has to turn around 180 degrees, and then he has to, nope, he has to walk once. Then he has to, so he's walking like this, he has to turn left. And then walk once. And then he has to pick up. Then if he's picking up like this, he has to turn to the right. Like right here. And then he has to turn to the right once more. Actually, no. He has to walk and then turn to the right. So walk, turn right, and then walk. So let's see if this, if this works. He picks it up. He turns. Good, good. And once more. And we did not code him to drop. I'm stupid. Then he has to turn to the left and then drop. The first time I've played this, I was a lot smarter than this. Let's speed it up to times four. Look at that. There we go. Congratulations. You are doing well. Now we have a new problem. The robots are connected to the Wi-Fi. But as you can guess, the Wi-Fi only work in limited range. To go beyond that limit, you'll need to use crystals. So as you can see, there's the Wi-Fi limit. We'll get to see the crystal, because uh, they do have a range, the crystal's range. There it is, over here. Um, let's slow this back down to times one. So we have to go and pick up the crystal so we can actually move with it. So we start that by walking once. Then turning to the left, walking once more. So now we're here. Now we have to pick up. Okay. Then you know what? You know, just straight up turn around. Walk once. So you're now here. And you're now facing this way. So you have to go to the left. Walk twice. Till you're over here now, then you have to turn once again, left, and walk once more. And we don't have to drop it? No, we don't. Let's start. Cool. Mix it up. 180 degree turn. Left, good, good. Walking twice, then once left. Cool. Oh, there we go. That's one of our other robot. It probably got too far beyond the limit. So yeah, as you can see, it's got one block. So uh, it got one block too far from the limit from this thing. So right now, there it is. You have to pick it up first. Don't forget to pick it up, or else you'll lose it. Now, it says right here, blue and red robots are sync each other. So they are synchronized with each other. So whenever whatever this guy does, this thing will do as long as they're both in range of the Wi-Fi. So here's what you have to do. You pick this thing up so we can carry it with you. Then we have to, of course, do a 180 degree. So then we're facing this way. Walk once and then turn to the left because we're facing this way. We're gonna have to turn to the left and then walk once more up. Then they're both looking at the same direction. So then I have to make them both turn to the right, walk twice. So now one of them is on the diamond block, but then we want them to both go down, so they're both in, in one spot. So if they're like looking like this, they have to turn to the right, just once, then walk once more. This should be it. There we go. It moves once more. Now the other one's in the range. They're both moving together. 
Move once, and go down. There we go. Alright, I think that's the last puzzle I managed to do before power died. Uh, no, I think I managed to complete it, but just as I was completing it, power died. Which is kind of sad. Okay, so, walk forward. Then turn to the left. Walk once more. Pick it up. Then turn to the left again. Then walk once more. So he's now looking this way. Yes, turn to the left once more. Then walk again. And then turn to the left one last time. Then walk twice. There's one. And here is two. Get going. He picked it up, that's good. He goes down, goes to the right, then both they they okay, good, good. As you there we go. Noticed, you are also limited by the number of lines of code. Ah. But don't worry, we found a ways to go beyond that limit too. Hmm. So instruction available, go to. Go to allows you to go to a specific place inside the code. With it, you can create a loop. Try drop followed by pickup. Go to drop. Wait, what? Um, drop pickup. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, oh, I see. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Uh, where do you have to bring this thing? I am not really sure. Oh, over here. Hmm. Hmm, that's weird. Let's trash everything. I can definitely move from here over there and then down here easily. But I'm pretty sure that will take too much code. So let's try this though. I'll, I'll try it out anyway. Okay, okay, I think, I think I know. I, th I think I'm realizing what Go2 does, okay? Remove these. So, this thing, it's a square, so we can just make the entire code loop, it, loop back again. Um, so, we have to walk, walk, then left. Okay. Then this will allow you to pick up. Then go to here and play. Let's see. If, you, if we do this, you should pick it up, then keep going, I think. But I cannot actually move past here because it's all the way to the... Because uh, he's, he's turned to the right. So after he picks up, he has to turn around. Let's try this. And just this. Then he turns around, and then he does it all over again. Okay. Here's this. We take this, we put drop, and then pick up. Then you go. Actually, just l let's make it times four. There we go, there we go, picks it up, turns around, goes, and then puts it. There we go. Okay. That's, that's very interesting. I just realized what it actually does. So, Mr. Blue Guy right here, he needs to pick up. Okay. Then he goes up, and then to the right, then they're both connected. Or maybe he shouldn't. He should go up twice. Okay, pick up. No. Pick up, then he has to turn to the right. And then walk up twice. Okay. Then, he can turn left. Then walk once. So now he's here and they're both connected. Then, since he's looking this way, he has to turn to the right. Yeah, yeah, to the right. And they have to walk one, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, and four. So they're, they're both standing here. Let's put at times two. There we go. Oh! Did I forget my directions? Pick up, walk, walk. So now he's here, and he's looking this- yeah, turn left, should be turn right. So let's grab a turn to the right. Grab this, walk it here. Let's play again. This should be it. Yeah. Okay, then they both turn, then they both walk. Cool. Robots can't move forward. There is a block on the path. Yeah, I realized that. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. This is going to be the last one in the entire uh, video. This one seems kind of tricky because they're both already moving together. Oh man, this is tricky as hell. Let's try this. Let's try this. So I'm going to make it pick up. So this thing's going to pick it up. Then they're both going to turn around. Then they're both going to... Should they walk? Should I do that? No, no, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. They shouldn't turn around. They should turn to the right. Walk once. Then drop. Let's see what this thing does. Pick up. Turn around. Walk once. Then he place it there. Cool. So now this thing gets to walk twice. Let's make him turn to the right. One. Two. Okay. No, turn to the right once. Then walk twice. See what this does. Picks it up. Goes there. Drops it down. Ah, and walks twice so they both get out of range. Now they cannot move. Nope, nope, don't turn left. You need to turn to the right and then walk. Let's try this out. Times four. Cool, cool. Can you... Can you turn to the left and walk? I think there might be a border there. You can do that. No, that thing- that thing's out. That thing is actually no longer connected. Okay, but we have the entire thing about turning around here that we- we do not need. This entire turn around and walk thing. We do not need that. Oh? That's... That is... Is that it? If we, they're both looking this way, so they turn to the left. If they turn to the left, and then we'll just walk twice. Can I put one last one here? Try this. I accidentally did it. <laughs> I think this one, I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but I accidentally completed it. I was just, I was just testing out some things and I apparently did it. All right, well, that's cool. Man, this is such a fun map. Okay, <laughs> this is kind of hard and this, this keeps getting harder. Now we have only one character, I think. Yeah. Okay. And we have to pick these up and place them in the correct, uh, in their correct spots. Uh... Hmm. Well, we'll leave this to the next video. My brain is already hurting. I'm stupid. And it's super hot inside my room. So if you want to play this map for yourself, an amazing map. Really recommend it. Y'all see how much fun I'm having with this. Go down in the description and download it for yourself. Leave a like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to know whenever I post another stupid video for some reason. And I will see y'all in the next video. Until next time, take care. Goodbye, everybody. Amogus.